I just bought a bunch of LEGO aircraft sets, and today I'm gonna build a LEGO plane launcher to see which set flies the best. Side note, humans cannot fly. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> also, this video is sponsored by Shopify, but more on them later. So step one, we need to build a way to launch the planes into the air. Now we do have this LEGO crash test simulator from our last video, and I'm thinking if we extend it, remove this box right here and put it at like a 30 degree angle, we can actually use the same mechanism to launch planes into the air. Basically there's a rope attached to this pulley, and when we add a weight to the end and then drop it, it launches whatever's in front of this. So we can put any plane here and then just attach a heavy weight. And at the end of this, maybe we have a ramp or something. We gotta rebuild it and rework it a little first. Let's take this box off here. We're gonna extend it on this side because this side has the pulley, which is right here. And it makes more sense. So we need to flip this over. This can't end well. We're good. So the way this track works is there's literally a cart with wheels that runs through this thing all the way through the middle. However, we need to extend that and that will lock this together and then we can build up the brick walls. As you see, it's very flimsy right now. Okay, now that we have the runway extended, we need to figure out how we're gonna get this to 30 degrees. Luckily, I bought some more bricks. We need to calculate how many two x fours it takes to do this entire thing and then how many layers we want and then we can get the best angle. 35, 36, 37. So there's 59 bricks. We rest that up there, and then we take our protractor and measure the angle. Five degrees? So now we have a five degree angle, and I know I said 30 degrees before, but now I'm looking at it thinking, hey, that's not gonna happen. So if we have 20 bricks here, and this is about 60 bricks long, every three bricks, we go up one brick. So every layer, what I do is I cut off one thing behind the white, and then I just add another layer of white staggered in front of the last layer, and that'll give us like a cool kind of a hazard effect at an angle. And I already injured myself. I cut my hand while I was trying to put that piece together. Now I just gotta keep going until I finish out the slant. Now, we just have to take all of these and make them level with this because these are supposed to touch the ground so that this thing doesn't collapse. But other than that, we have the slope done and I'm scared to flip this over. So I'm gonna add those and then do that. <laughs> now, we gotta flip this. Ella, could you give me a hand? You have the light end, so you should be fine. We're gonna lift. All right, so now you can see we have a nice five degree angle. Then we just have to upgrade our cart so that it can actually roll on these tiles and hold our aircraft. So, Ella. Okay, so now that we got rid of that, this is the track. Now this part goes underground and connects to the rope, but above this we want to have another track that's about this big and we're gonna actually put real wheels on it. And then we'll take our planes and stuff and they'll basically just be pushed by that track. Connect that like that. This will sit above the track. On the sides of this, we simply do this, this. Now we just need to get some Lego wheels and put them on the edges. Put the blank one on, this one on the wheel. You can just snap that on here. And then we just gotta make a couple more. Okay, now this goes here. Why are you laughing so <laughs> evilly? Okay, now the rope's there. Now look, whatever we put on this, like for example, this. So yeah, this is perfect. And these wheels roll on this. It's just being controlled from underneath. The next step is to tile this and make it actually look like a flight launcher and not a crash test simulator. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna tell you about this video's sponsor, Shopify, and their Lincoln bio tool, Linkpop. Linkpop is an all-in-one free Lincoln bio tool created by Shopify, and it allows you to showcase all of your social links together using one single link. Kind of like a digital shelf that can house your social links, playlists, favorite websites, or if you're a business and already have a Shopify store, a new product that you just launched. You see here, if I just tap my Linkpop, literally all my links come up. I got my newest video, my YouTube channel, YouTube shorts, TikTok, talk Twitter, and eh, maybe I want to make it look a little more futuristic. Cool, and now as you can see, it looks a lot more futuristic. So there's a lot of room for customization and it just looks so clean. It's honestly really simple. You just paste all of your links and then you can customize it to fit your own unique style or branding. Also, since Linkpop is created by Shopify, if you have a Shopify store, you can actually integrate your products directly into your Linkpop. That way people can purchase them from there. Linkpop makes it easy to show all your proudest accomplishments in one place. So if you wanna sign up, you can go to linkpop.com or the link in the description and sign up today. Big thanks to Linkpop for sponsoring this video. Now let's go launch some Lego planes. Okay, so we got two boards laid down right here, and there's a hole drilled in this. That way, it should be super sturdy. Set this right on the board. Oh, it's 
perfect size. So now we have this thing on the table. You can see right under here, there is a hole, and that is where the rope is gonna come down. Let's launch the first one. The first and smallest set we're gonna build is the Amelia Earhart tribute. I'm gonna be honest, when I bought this, I thought it was a lot bigger. <laughs> the sets are gonna be getting bigger and bigger as we go, but we're gonna start with this and see how well it does. There we are. Wow, that is so much smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> I don't think this is going to fly at all. But I've been wrong before. All right, let's see how this does. All right, guys, so we are starting with our first Lego plane, which is this. That should hopefully slide into the water. All we gotta do is release this pin and it should stop right there. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. That one did not fare very well. There it is in the water. It went to like right there, so it also just didn't come off of this very cleanly, which is kind of my fault. I feel like we should give that one one more go. Guys, that one just flips over. That one did not fly at all, as you can see. I'm gonna give that one a zero out of 10. We got like, what, two feet? It didn't glide at all. It didn't do very well. So let's launch the next one. Next, we have the Lego City Ambulance Plane. Our set has gotten a little bit bigger. We're gonna be getting bigger and bigger with each one of these. And this one has 183 pieces, so let's see. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Hey, build the ambulance plane. All right, so this next one, has wheels, which may or may not be a problem. So if we put that right there, that should sit in there pretty good, I hope. But now we can launch this one. Launching in three, two, one. That one just kind of flipped due to the forces on this thing. It went up like this, which means it was getting some good wind, but not when it got in the pool. Definitely flew a lot better than last time. As you can see, nothing broke about the plane. This one didn't do very bad. I'm gonna give it like a two out of 10. So not horrible, but not great. Let's build the next one. The next set we're gonna build is the Mars Research Shuttle. This one's pretty cool. It's got like rovers and drones that come out of it. I mean, it's supposedly supposed to fly. So we're gonna see how well that actually does. All right, guys, here we have the Mars Space Explorer. We got some minifigures we can toss in there. <laughs> this one is pretty heavy. I think it might do well, but I don't know. The next one we're building is the Lego City Space Shuttle. Now, I'm not super proud to have bought this one. It is technically a ship, so I'm kind of glad I did, but we'll see how it does. I don't know. Now, I've kind of rebuilt this to fit this shuttle, and this should slide right off, so I think this will do really good. Here we go. Pull test for the spaceship in three, two, one. Ooh. I feel like that one had a really good launch. I'm just not sure how far it went, because I can't really see from here. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one this rating right here. I can't see the number. I feel like that one did pretty good though because it stayed on the track all the way to the end. So yeah. All right, let's build the next one. We're getting a little bigger with our sets now. We have the X-Wing fighter jet. Considering it's not designed to fly without like jet boosters and it's not actually real, I'm not sure how well this is gonna fly. We'll see. Here we have the X-Wing fighter. As you can see, you push this button on top and the wings start. Unfortunately, we can't really do that on the simulator, but let's test it out and see how well it can really fly. Maybe it'll surprise us, who knows? I had to add a wheel to the front of this just so that it would actually work. But that loads right into there, and this thing is ready to launch. So, we're gonna fire the X-Wing in three, two, one. I can tell you guys for a fact that that one does not make it past right there. I don't think that glided at all. Yeah, uh, I don't think the X-Wing flies pretty well, mainly because it's not supposed to fly without like, you know, rocket engines or whatever they use in Star Wars. I'm gonna give that one a one out of 10. That one did not do good at all, sorry. Tell me this doesn't remind you that one scene when the swamp, it flows pretty well. Let's build up the next one because they are getting bigger and bigger and the next one is gonna be super cool. I have high hopes for this one. The next set we're gonna build is the blue power jet. This one is super cool, like a creator. I don't know, doesn't seem super aerodynamic, but I guess we'll see. All right, you guys, here is the blue power jet. It is super cool. As you can see, it has working landing gear. If you flip these down and it rolls. I'm super excited to see how this does. I actually changed my mind. I think it might fly pretty well. It's not as heavy as I thought. And also it's very aerodynamic. All right, next up we have this mega blue power jet. I forget what it's called, super jet. Oh wow, that fits in there pretty good actually. So I'm going to put these flaps. I'm gonna put these flaps up. That way, the air will hit this and it'll kind of tilt up, maybe leading in a longer flight. I'm not really sure, but that hits that right there, so that should be good. 
in three, two, one. Ooh, that one actually glided. <laughs> I actually did see that. That one actually glided, I think, pretty well. All in one piece, except for that one piece that got dislodged. Nothing else really broke off. I like how this is becoming our little dock of all the planes. <laughs> it just kind of went like this instead of flipping completely. And that's what big wings will do for you. So I'm gonna give that one a six out of 10, but let's build the next one. All right, guys, the next set we have is the Milan. Sorry, I mean, the Guardian ship. Wow. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, guys, here it is, the Guardian ship for some reason. This thing is actually extremely cool. It has an opening top, opening cockpit, and this somehow opens. I don't know why they made this so difficult to open. I guess you could grab it by that. This is very heavy, so I do not think this is going to fly well at all. Also, I don't know how we're going to attach it to our simulator, but let's test it out and see what it can do. This will hopefully fit right here, and just uh, two legs will kind of straddle that piece, I guess. I'm nervous for this one, because this one's big. In three, two, one. What? Oh. Uh, I think that one was a little too heavy for our machine here. I'm gonna say this one's weight outweighs its ability to stay in the air, pun intended. It's just a little too heavy. It just, it's got big wings. They don't really work very well for it. I can't give it above like a, two out of 10, like it just doesn't fly very well. What I'm realizing is Lego planes don't fly very well. Good riddance to you, Milano. You just stay under there. Oh, that makes a cool summary. Wow, that's sick. Guys, if you wanna see Lego boats, comment down below. <laughs> so that one didn't work super well. Let's build the final one and see how that does. The next set we're gonna build is the commercial airliner. This thing turned out pretty cool. You can see here it has an opening back if you unlock it there. You can put a car in there. I don't know why you want to, but um, you could. The thing that's supposed to come with it doesn't actually fit, so that's odd. So yeah, I have high hopes for this one. It has very thin wings. So let's go test this thing out. All right, guys, we have the final plane. I'm unfortunately going to have to remove these wheels because there's no way it's gonna fit on that. I have high hopes for it because these wings are so big and it's not super heavy. Is there even enough room for it? Will that work? We just gotta upgrade this a little bit. All right, three, two, one. You see right here how well it did. It wasn't fantastic. Yeah, I think this one still has the potential to fly better than the other ones. So it just didn't have the force to push that all the way. I'm gonna give that one like a three, four out of 10. Not great. What do you think, Emmett? He's like, throw my ball. I'm about to give you all the satisfaction of seeing this fall off the deck into the pool. And we're gonna see if it actually flies because I'm not satisfied with the results. In three, two, one. Well, that's that then. I think this one flew the best. Comment down below what you think. Huge thanks to Shopify for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out Link Pop, first link in the description down below. Check out the Lego car crash test simulator video I made right here. Check out this one because this is one I think you'll really enjoy. See ya!